Okay. This is the 40. This is the 60 that I tried to get to work. Now, that's the fan for the 60. It goes on this heat sink back here. This one already has a fan on it. And a big ass heat sink. Now, this one will put out 40 amps. I could not get this one to go over 25 amps. This is a current sen uh, temperature sensor. This is the current sensor. This is the diode down in the bottom. This is the 5 volt power supply for the computer chip. Computer was hooked up here to these leads. Right now, the, I had a manual pot control, which I was going to go to a computer pot control as soon as possible if the manual part worked. But this thing would not go over 25 amps. And at 25 amps, it overheated and shut down. This one can go up to 40 amps, and on a really cold day like today, when it's, well, it's not too cold today, but when it's below, oh, about 30 degrees, this thing will do 50 amps, easy. Now, on the bottom of it, there's four, uh, I guess they're MOSFETs. They might be the newer fits, I don't know. But if you heat sink those, which these are heat synced right to this heat sink, basically, right through the, right to here, and then to here. Uh, it sucks the heat right out of there. I tried to replace the heat sink that was on here with this copper bar, and it's heat sink to the copper bar. This one does not tell you where the what's what gets too hot. So you don't know where to put the heat sink except where the heat sink is. This one tells you that those four chips get hot. Now the chips that are on here, there's a bunch of capacitors on the back of this thing that stick out further than the chips do. So the only way you could heat sink any chips that are on there is to attach small pieces of aluminum to each of the chips and then attach them to the, your case to heat sink it better. This is easier to heat sink. I'm going back to the 40 and I'm going to install two 40s in the box to put out 80. This 60, I can't figure out how to heat sink it so I can get it above 25 amps. So, and I burned up one already. And I think I ruined this one because it won't go up to 25 anymore. So I don't know what I can do. Basically, that's where I'm at right now. The 60s are made by, uh, well, they're a different company than this one. This one, in this diagram, they tell you where the heat source is that they're putting the temperature sensors on. So... Don't use these because I haven't figured out how to work them. And if you can figure out how to work them, send me some kind of message. But I've already had one person say that he burned some up, and I'm sorry that he burned them up. But I told y'all I was going to experiment with them, and I'd get back to you. Well, the experiments failed. Can't get these up very high at all. So I've gone back to the 40. I've got a bigger box. Big box, lots of heat sink, two chips. I've already installed the current sensors and the temperature sensor and the power supply, two of the diodes, everything else is, and the capacitors are all in there too. I'll show you some pictures of that soon, but uh, that's what I'm going with because the 60 just does not work. I'm sorry. Okay, that's enough for now. It's up to you whether you try to experiment with a 60 or not.